For this tutorial, you will need the elastic lace, some stretchable fabric. I'm going to use a four-way stretch polyester. Some soft lining fabric for the gusset. The needles to pin the fabric. The pico elastic. The elastic for the straps. You also will need to have the threads which are matching your fabric and the elastic. The rings and the sliders. And my rings and sliders are 10 millimeters, the same as my elastic. The ball and how to make this little guy, you can find the link in the description box below. The scissors. The lighter. The piece of chalk to outline the pattern. And the pattern, you'll find the link in the description box below. Fold your fabric in half. On top of the fold, place the pattern. Outline everything with the piece of chalk and after cut it off. And don't forget to put the max for the gusset. Fold the lace in half and make sure that the scallops are matching each other. Then place the pattern on the scallops edge, outline everything with the chalk and after cut it off. Place the lace element on top of the fabric face to face to each other and pin it with the needles. Do the same on the other side. Now go to your overlocker or sewing machine and sew here and here. When you finish to sew, it should look this way. Grab the scissors and cut off the threads. And if some fabric is coming out, like here, don't be afraid to trim this place. Prevent these seams from moving, fold them exactly the same way like you see me doing here. After, go to your sewing machine and sew here and here.
When you finish to sew, it should look this way. Now it's time to prepare the straps. And for this you will need the elastic, the rings and the sliders. You will need to cut three straps, one for the back and two the same for the sides. Measure yourself and cut the amount of the elastic you need. Grab the lighter and burn the ends of the elastic. Grab the slider and put the elastic inside. Do the same with all of them. Go to your sewing machine and sew here. When you start to sew, make sure that there is no any metal object like a slider under your needle. Grab the lighter and eliminate the leftover of the threads. Next, grab the ring and put the elastic inside of the ring. Take the end of the elastic and put it inside of the slider. Do the same with the other straps. This is the back strap. Now grab the side strap and put this in the ring of the back strap. and pin it with the needle. Then do exactly the same with the other strap. Go to your sewing machine and sew everywhere where you have the needles. It should look this way. Grab the lining fabric and place it on top of the gusset marks. Then pin it with the needles. Grab the strap and place it in the middle exactly the same way like you see me doing here. And 
pin it with the needle as well. Next, grab the Pico elastic and sew it on here and here. Place the elastic on top of the fabric face to face to each other. Elastic also has a right side and the wrong one. Basically, you need to place a right side to the right side. But here, keep the free space of the elastic to sew on the rings later. After, sew it here. When you sew, you don't stretch the fabric. You stretch a little bit only the elastic. When you come close to the gusset, make sure that the lining fabric stays on the gusset max. Check the elastic everywhere. And if you see some fabric is coming out, then grab the scissors and trim this place. But make sure do not cut the elastic. Hold the elastic this way and sew one more time here with the settings you can see on the screen. When you come close to the back strap, just fold the elastic on top of it and carry on sewing up to this place. When you finish to sew on the elastic, it should look this way. Do the same on the other side. Cut off the leftover of the elastic. Then grab the lighter and eliminate the leftover of the threads and the fluffiness of the elastic. Now grab the strap and put the elastic inside of the ring. Do exactly the same on the other side. Go to your sewing machine and sew here and here. Cut off the leftover of the elastic. Then grab the lighter and eliminate the leftover of the threads and the fluffiness of the elastic. Grab the bow and place it in the middle. After, sew it on with the few stitches by using the needle and the thread.
rearrange the ends of the bow and choose the position where you want them to be. Then sew it with the few stitches. Do exactly the same on the other side. 